Those were the good old days, weren't they? Yeah, things sure have changed, especially the music. Yeah, Bill Dunbar and Trip Jennings are going to tell us about Progressive Music's Invasion of Augusta. In Augusta, to find the only bands bold enough to play their own progressive music, you must take a ride down to a little-known spot on 8th Street. There you'll find what is affectionately known as the Chinese Laundry. To most, it appears to be a condemned building, but between the heavily painted walls lies the city's stronghold of progressive music. At any odd time, inspected by 12, the outlines and the crawling pegs can be found cranking out their distinct brands of rock and roll. Just last Friday, the outlines and inspected by 12 played to a party crowd of over 150 people. Rock and roll will never be the same. By the lack of heart in today's contemporary music, these bands write their own songs, as opposed to more popular artists. Inspected by 12's bassist David Bradbury and lead vocalist Joe Vignati explain. We don't think our music's better, we just think that um, ours is a little truer to form, because um, Tina's out there to sell some records and show off her legs, and um, it's we're just out here to have some fun. All these big bands get up on a few on the stage, and lights and glitter, and background singers and dancers and Madonna out there with her choreographed moves and that's all bullshit. Because what should matter in the end is the music and not the glitz and all that, you know, crap that people go for and eat up and pay for. Yeah. Pay a lot of money. For. I mean, that's not to say, I mean, you can have a show. That's fine. But if they like it, yeah, they, they lose track of what's going on. Who cares about the show? Music? Who cares about the music? Yeah. Nobody. Also, they're not. I mean, people. Really right, it's just it's crap. And it, you, you get you get people like, well, Laura and Madonna, and, and, and you know, you know, what I'm talking about the people like that who have music written for them to perform. Madonna does not write her music. Cindy Lauper does not write her music. Tina Turner does. Tina Turner does not write her music. She performs songs people have like given her. And that's that's not very creative. It's, it's not very creative and it's not very true to the soul or anything. Uh, it's it's kind of false. While most bands prefer playing in a homier environment, the Chinese laundry complements their styles of music. And the graffiti on the walls is reminiscent of yesteryear, creating an atmosphere of mystery. But John Brownlee of the Outlines likes the idea of obscurity. I'd like to be doing what we want to do because I think in the long run, if you really don't sell your soul and stick to your guns and you just keep getting better and better, I think you can keep going at it, you know? I mean, Lou Reed is still doing it. He's probably not making a fortune, but, you know, he's always done his own thing and he's making it along the way. And, and I think that's really the only way to go. I think very few people have the balls to do it, but I'd like to say that I could be one of them that could do it if I plan on making a career out of making music. So if you're looking for some real rock and roll, made in America and straight from the heart, check out these local boys and you'll discover what rock and roll was always meant to be.